Welcome to Just Stories, we hope you enjoy the story. The Italo-Turkish War, Empires Collide, by Just Stories. Chapter 1, Prelude to War Italy's Imperial Ambitions. Italy's decision to go to war with the Ottoman Empire in 1911 was driven by a complex mix of economic, strategic, and ideological factors. Italy, like many other European powers, had long harbored ambitions of expanding its colonial holdings overseas, and the Ottoman-controlled territory of Libya offered a tempting target for expansion. Additionally, the rising tide of Italian nationalism, fueled in part by the desire for a place in the sun among the great powers, created pressure on the Italian government to pursue imperialist policies. The roots of Italy's interest in Libya go back to the late 19th century, when Italy began to explore the possibility of acquiring territory in North Africa as a way of bolstering its position as a colonial power. At the time, Italy was a relatively new nation-state, having only been unified in 1861, and its leaders saw overseas expansion as a way of enhancing Italy's prestige and influence on the world stage. In 1882, Italy joined the Triple Alliance with Germany and Austria-Hungary, which gave it a certain degree of security and stability in its relations with other European powers, but did little to address its underlying economic and political weaknesses. Italy's first foray into North Africa came in 1885, when it established a protectorate over the port of Massawa in modern-day Eritrea. This move was motivated in part by a desire to create a foothold on the Red Sea, which would facilitate trade with the Middle East and Asia. However, the Italian government soon became interested in acquiring additional territory in the region, and in 1911 it set its sights on Libya. Libya was a large, sparsely populated territory that had been under Ottoman control for centuries. It was seen by many Italians as a natural extension of Italy's existing colonial holdings in North Africa and as a way of asserting Italian influence in the Mediterranean. Moreover, Libya was believed to be rich in resources such as oil and minerals, which would help fuel Italy's growing industrial economy. In the years leading up to the war, Italian nationalists and imperialists began to agitate for the annexation of Libya, and the Italian government responded by ramping up its rhetoric against the Ottoman Empire. In 1911, the Italian press began to run stories alleging mistreatment of Italian citizens living in Libya, which were largely fabricated but served as a pretext for Italian military action. On September 29, 1911, Italy declared war on the Ottoman Empire, launching a naval blockade of the Tripoli coast and preparing for a ground invasion of Libya. The Italian military was confident of an easy victory, believing that Ottoman forces in the region were weak and poorly equipped. However, the reality of the situation would prove far more complicated, as Ottoman resistance stiffened and the conflict dragged on for over a year. In conclusion, Italy's decision to go to war with the Ottoman Empire in 1911 was driven by a combination of economic interests, nationalist sentiment, and strategic considerations. Italy's desire for colonial expansion and a greater role in world affairs was an important motivating factor, as was the belief that acquiring territory in North Africa would enhance Italy's economic and geopolitical position. While the war was initially seen as a relatively minor conflict, its outcome would have far-reaching implications for Italy, the Ottoman Empire, and the broader global order. Chapter 2, The War Begins Italian Invasion of Libya On September 29, 1911, Italian warships launched a surprise attack on the Ottoman-controlled territory of Libya, marking the beginning of the Italo-Turkish War. The Italian government had long been interested in acquiring territory in North Africa as a way of bolstering Italy's position as a colonial power, and Libya was seen as a particularly attractive target due to its strategic location in the Mediterranean and its perceived economic potential. The initial phase of the war saw Italian naval forces blockade the coast of Tripoli and other key ports in Libya, effectively cutting off Ottoman supply lines and isolating Ottoman forces in the region. This was followed by a ground invasion of Libya, which began on October 4, 1911, with Italian troops landing at the port of Tripoli. Initially, the Italian invasion appeared to be proceeding smoothly, with Italian forces making rapid advances and capturing a number of key towns and cities. 
However, the Ottoman military soon began to mount a more organized resistance, and Italian troops found themselves facing stiff opposition from Ottoman soldiers and irregular forces. One of the key challenges facing the Italian military was the harsh desert terrain of Libya, which made it difficult to move troops and supplies and forced soldiers to endure extreme heat and sandstorms. Additionally, the Ottoman military was able to mobilize local Arab and Bedouin tribes to fight against the Italians, using guerrilla tactics and hit-and-run attacks to harass Italian troops and disrupt their supply lines. Despite these challenges, the Italian military continued to press forward, capturing the cities of Benghazi and Derna in the spring of 1912. However, Ottoman resistance remained fierce, and Italian troops suffered heavy casualties in a number of bloody battles. One of the most significant battles of the war took place in December 1911, when Ottoman forces launched a counterattack against Italian positions in the town of Ein Zara. The battle was fought over several days and involved thousands of troops on both sides, with heavy casualties on both sides. Eventually, the Italians were able to repel the Ottoman attack, but the battle demonstrated the tenacity of Ottoman resistance and the challenges facing the Italian military in securing control of Libya. In conclusion, the Italian invasion of Libya marked the beginning of a difficult and protracted conflict between Italy and the Ottoman Empire. While the Italian military initially made rapid gains, they soon encountered stiff opposition from Ottoman forces and faced a number of significant challenges in securing control of the territory. The harsh desert terrain and the mobilization of local Arab and Bedouin tribes by the Ottoman military made it difficult for the Italians to achieve their objectives, and the conflict would drag on for over a year with no clear resolution in sight. Chapter 3 Ottoman Resistance Defense of Libya While the Italian military was able to make some initial gains in its invasion of Libya, it soon encountered fierce resistance from Ottoman forces and their allies. Ottoman resistance to the Italian invasion was multifaceted, involving both conventional military tactics and the mobilization of local Arab and Bedouin tribes to fight against the Italians. One of the key figures in the Ottoman defense of Libya was the commander Mahmoud Mudar Pasha, who had previously served in the Balkan Wars and was appointed to lead Ottoman forces in Libya in 1912. Under Pasha's leadership, Ottoman forces were able to mount an effective defense against the Italian invasion, using a combination of conventional military tactics and irregular warfare. One of the key challenges facing the Ottoman military was the limited number of troops and resources available to defend such a large territory. However, Pasha was able to mobilize Ottoman troops from other regions and enlist the support of local Arab and Bedouin tribes to fight against the Italians. These irregular forces, known as Hamadai, were highly effective in harassing Italian troops and disrupting their supply lines. Another key factor in the Ottoman defense of Libya was the harsh desert terrain, which favored defenders and made it difficult for the Italians to move troops and supplies. The Ottomans were able to take advantage of this terrain to set up defensive positions and ambush Italian troops, using hit-and-run tactics to wear down the Italian military. One of the most significant battles of the war took place in January 1912, when Ottoman and Italian forces clashed at the town of Tobruk. The battle was fought over several days and involved thousands of troops on both sides, with heavy casualties on both sides. While the Italians were eventually able to capture Tobruk, the battle demonstrated the effectiveness of Ottoman resistance and the challenges facing the Italian military in securing control of Libya. The Ottoman defense of Libya was also aided by the support of other regional powers, including the German Empire and the Austro-Hungarian Empire, who provided military and diplomatic support to the Ottomans. Additionally, the Ottoman government was able to appeal to pan-Islamic sentiment, portraying the war as a struggle between Islam and Christian imperialism and mobilizing support from Muslim communities around the world. In conclusion, the Ottoman defense of Libya was a complex and multifaceted effort involving conventional military tactics, irregular warfare, and regional and global alliances. The Ottoman military was able to mount an effective defense against the Italian invasion, using a combination of tactics and strategies to wear down the Italian military and disrupt their supply lines. 
While the conflict would ultimately result in an Italian victory, the Ottoman defense of Libya demonstrated the resilience of the Ottoman Empire and the challenges facing European powers in their efforts to extend their imperial reach. Chapter 4 International Repercussions, Diplomacy, and Intervention The Italo Turkish War had significant repercussions not only for Italy and the Ottoman Empire, but for the broader global order. The conflict drew the attention of other imperial powers and sparked diplomatic efforts to intervene and resolve the conflict. Additionally, the war had implications for the balance of power in Europe and the Middle East, with the outcome of the conflict potentially altering the geopolitical landscape. One of the key international players in the Italo-Turkish War was Germany, which had a close alliance with the Ottoman Empire and was wary of Italian expansionism in North Africa. Germany provided military and diplomatic support to the Ottomans, sending military advisors and supplies to assist in their defense of Libya. Additionally, the German government worked to broker a peace settlement between Italy and the Ottoman Empire, although these efforts were ultimately unsuccessful. Another major player in the conflict was the Austro-Hungarian Empire, which also had a close alliance with the Ottoman Empire and was concerned about the potential for Italian territorial expansion in the region. The Austro-Hungarian government worked to mediate between Italy and the Ottoman Empire, but like Germany, was unable to prevent the outbreak of war. The Italo-Turkish War also drew the attention of other European powers, including France and Great Britain. Both of these countries had colonial interests in North Africa and were wary of Italian expansionism in the region. While both countries maintained a policy of neutrality during the conflict, they closely monitored the situation and sought to protect their own interests in the region. The United States also became involved in the conflict, although its role was largely limited to diplomatic efforts to prevent the war from escalating. The U.S. government sent a number of diplomatic envoys to Italy and the Ottoman Empire, urging both sides to negotiate a peaceful settlement and avoid further conflict. One of the most significant international repercussions of the Italo-Turkish War was its impact on the balance of power in Europe and the Middle East. Italy's successful invasion of Libya demonstrated its military prowess and helped establish it as a major colonial power, while the Ottoman Empire's defeat exposed its weakness and vulnerability to European imperialism. Additionally, the conflict had implications for the broader global order, as it highlighted the growing tensions and rivalries between European powers in the early 20th century. In conclusion, the Italo-Turkish War had significant international repercussions, drawing the attention of other imperial powers and sparking diplomatic efforts to intervene and resolve the conflict. The involvement of countries like Germany, Austria-Hungary, France, and Great Britain underscored the importance of North Africa as a strategic region, while the conflict's impact on the balance of power in Europe and the Middle East would have lasting implications for global politics. Chapter 5 Conclusion and Legacy Aftermath of the War The Italo-Turkish War had a profound impact on the political and social landscape of Italy and the Ottoman Empire, as well as on the broader global order. The war marked a significant turning point in the history of European imperialism as it demonstrated the vulnerability of the Ottoman Empire to European military and economic power and established Italy as a major colonial power. One of the most immediate consequences of the war was the territorial changes that resulted from the conflict. As a result of its victory, Italy was able to establish a colonial foothold in Libya, which would remain under Italian control until the end of World War II. The war also contributed to the decline of the Ottoman Empire, which would continue to lose territory and influence in the coming decades. The war also had significant implications for the national identities of Italy and the Ottoman Empire. For Italy, the war was seen as a moment of national triumph, bolstering the country's self-image as a major power and helping to consolidate its national identity. In the Ottoman Empire, however, the defeat was a major blow to national pride and identity, contributing to a growing sense of disillusionment and resentment towards European powers. The war also had broader implications for European imperialism and the Middle East. The conflict highlighted the growing tensions and rivalries between European powers in the early 20th century and established Italy as a major colonial power in North Africa. 
Additionally, the war contributed to the destabilization of the Middle East, paving the way for further European intervention in the region in the decades to come. The legacy of the Italo-Turkish War would be felt in the years and decades that followed. The defeat of the Ottoman Empire would contribute to growing nationalist and independence movements in the Middle East, while the establishment of Italian colonial rule in Libya would have a lasting impact on the region's political and social development. Additionally, the war would contribute to the broader geopolitical tensions and rivalries that would ultimately lead to the outbreak of World War I. In conclusion, the Italo-Turkish War was a significant event in the history of European imperialism and the Middle East. The conflict marked a turning point in the history of Italy and the Ottoman Empire, establishing Italy as a major colonial power and contributing to the decline of the Ottoman Empire. Additionally, the war had broader implications for the balance of power in Europe and the Middle East and would have lasting consequences for the political and social development of the region. Thank you for watching our story. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss out on our next video.